No, go in some of them because uh, it's quite mountainous terrain, and I'm also well, thinking, I guess I can bring in. I'm also I thinking I of trying something. Army. Let's see if the Americans will once again uh, ignore. You know. <laughs> The Republic of Ecuador has called the United States of America as an enemy in the Venezuelan Ecuadorian War, the Republic of the Philippines, the Polish, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. Yeah. So, wait, wait, who? What? Did you just start a, a world war? Yep. I think we have to load this game because I just fucked up royally. No, I mean, not. I mean, I'm. Let me see. I'm not in a world war. Yeah, no, I am. I just have a lot of lend leases. Um, but I have no agreement with America, so they have to sail to you. Oh, they will. You've got Nazis in your, on your borders and in your ports. I mean, yeah, the Nazis are kind of friendly to me. They're like, yeah, I'm not gonna help you. Okay, let's you wanna try to play it out? I'm gonna play it for a bit. Let's see how this works, because I uh, expect the worst. Now then, my troops. Everybody joins me in my war. It's like, yeah, we just waited for you to start shit. Panic Alliance, which is the prelude to more fighting. Simple answer? Yes. More complex answer? Yes. Oz. Now then, since we have air superiority, because, well, you know, the other side also doesn't have anything in the way of troops, I should push a two front war. Let's see how this works. Because this could be interesting. I mean, I will be growing quite a bit, neatly. Actually, time wise, that's not actually a bad thing to do a tryout now because I kind of have to go in like uh, 10 20 minutes. Is there any way you can leave your faction? Um. Probably not, not without a bunch of problems. Yeah, not immediately, because I'm at war and everybody joined my war now. I mean, worst oh. case scenario, we're just gonna reload. They'd see how this plays out for a bit, and, uh, and things are turning very, very badly. We just reload. We now know that the Amerikanski will at least not intervene with you, for some reason. One of the nice of them, actually. Think about it. I'm just going to quickly finish off those two small nations uh, to myself. I mean, we all know they belong to me. No. Obviously. Obviously. Right. Because, I mean, those wars are going to be a quick little... stroll in the park, basically. And I would like to point out one more than the other, I guess. How do my planes fare? Stay here. You need to stay here and provide me with food. You will. Got some allied but German troops. Not gonna be a problem. Germany breaks Molotov of rim. Yeah, this is going to turn into an endless world war now. Once the Soviets get involved, this is going to get ugly. I do mean really ugly. One convoy on a monthly basis on the French trade. Thanks, French. Thanks, France. It's like, yeah. You're the best. I, you really are the best. It's like, uh, that totally saves my, my buttocks. It's just, just, just not dope. Okay, we need to pause for a second because they capitulated. Means 
we need to get a deadline. And I need you to immediately offensively move in there. Can finish that off, and we need to draw a new front line. And we need to do that also very quickly. So when he has capitulated, yeah, Europe is now kicking off fully. Kind of expected. It. Oh god, I've cancelled the land lease. What will I do without that one convoy from the Frenchies? Ugh, French. Really don't need any enemies if you call the French your friends. Come on, first army, would you please deal with this? Authorization! Oh! Yeah, I've won this war. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, break. Redo this front line immediately. Okay, that was not what I wanted to. No. Redo the front line like this. We give you an offensive order to march down here. Yeah. If we call you to immediately go forwards. And to produce more advanced transport planes. No. Push aggressively, push aggressively, and let's see if we can deal with the other small nation of well, Peru. Well, I say it for now, the Peruvian Socialist Republic, because yay. Yeah. Guatemala has capitulated. To no surprise, they stood no chance. Now, what will Mexico demand of the Guatemalans? Ah. Hey, Guatemala, it's mine now. Yeah, precisely what we would expect. And as for me, I'm going to deal with those cunts quickly. Technically speaking, I need to actually move all of my troops back now on the other side and deal with the Netherlands, amongst other things, but I kept that bay at the moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And still we build roads. Well, a lot of my roads are damaged now, which is... To be fair, not good. And in army group one, you shall get uh, old kid. Uh, it doesn't. In defensive doctrine, organizer, still better. More on trial power, you say. We can start the little bit tanks, the each not an option. Well, then, this goes well so far. Shine and as a commander, and invite pretty much all of Latin America into the Hispanic Alliance. I mean, you can, that's probably not a bad choice. 
I think the Hispanic Alliance will be the only nation that will not be immediately at war for the moment. My problem is that we are reaching the point where it's like, yes, now we reach the areas where we do not have good roads, let alone a highway system. Oh. Fall of Kiev. A significant development. So who is in my war now? Basically the whole axis is in my war now. It weren't for the fact that the United States are the fucking leaders of this fucking <laughs> organization, I would have no problems. Ooh. Damn. Now, oh, Peru, you've lost another piece of your land. What are you gonna do about it? Does it look like Africa? Still not changed. No, it's changing Europe. Oh wait, no, there's a change. The United Kingdom has actually managed to invade Canada. For some reason. Right. Canada. On which side are you? Out of the Allies. And why is the United Kingdom invading you? And they're also out of the Allies. Hmm. Well, who knows? Something has gone wrong for them. I would need the army maneuver. Because I can't get that. Call of Leningrad. Germany, are you? Yes. Germany is actually busy dealing with the Soviets now. Which means we are not gonna get any help in this. Ah. Uh, there we are. Spanish losing to the French. Hmm. One of my generals has fallen ill. Well, that's a good start. Oh fuck, I didn't like the climate. Juba joins the Hispanic Alliance. Wonderful. Hmm. They do like you. And like, yes, there's so much nonsense going on. We want some some nice and quiet and peace. Can you help us with that? And then sending all of my little fighter planes down to us. Because we need more supplies. And my transport planes actually can drop supplies. God bless them for that because, well... Logistics-wise, things are still not good. Deep infiltration, please. Now we have a fresh bunch of supplies and some help in the air. Being has capitulated. No, I mean, that's good. Unfortunate for them. Not really, they turned in the very wrong way. They were the only basically uh, communist faction on that plane. Which, you know, kinda does horrible things to you if your neighbors are all fascists. Oh, yeah, the United States have landed. I'm fucked. <laughs> I can't finish this ball fast enough, can I? But now that would happen. But that's a problem, you know. Should have known. Let's see, start at least. Arms go to arms, start at least. September. Yes. 
Ja, denn. Americans are doing horrible things to my country. And the war in the south is not going that well. American units enter Bogota. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really makes you wonder why my so-called allies are when I actually need them for once. Mm. Not where I need them, yes. And we call in the merchant fleet of the United Kingdom. Now my fighter wings built for basically the 30s are uh, going to have to uh, help against the probably modernized ones uh, of the uh, Amerikanskis. Mm. No, no. Uh, it's really not a sort of... I'm working on Let me see here. Well, then you deal with that, and uh, uh, the Venezuelan Republic has capitulated. I have capitulated. capitulated. I have capitulated. I lost too many victory points because I took my capital. I, so you're just dead, dead, huh? Not pretty much, yeah. Can go into a hiding. There... Go. Oh, uh, you do have a little territory? Nope. Oh, but that's Guyana. I mean, I can be freed because I'm in a big alliance. Oh, man. Well, you said you had to go soon anyways. Yeah, uh, pretty much uh, about five minutes ago. <laughs> that's good timing on that defeat. Well, I kind of knew it could happen, but... Uh, well, sometimes you have to take the... The risk. Now I know what happens if I try to deal with uh, Ecuador and Co. Mean meanwhile I've managed to fly under the radar to the point that I'm potent I'm a potential powerhouse. Yeah. yeah if I can if I could field the bodies, then I could field a massively diverse and an elite army. Mm hmm. I do have some nice allies now. A Spanish alliance. Well, we'll see how and that is. Yeah, and it is growing. Well, why? Because you're dead. Yep. 